our standard Modesto camera. Hi, you guys. Thanks for watching. And look, Lori Fagoni joins us once again. You can tell from back there. It's uh, lorisfood.com, which you're going to want to check out because this recipe is on your website, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Although today I'm amping it up just a little bit and oh. making it even more oozing with lemony deliciousness. So we're going to get a little bonus because so, you watch this morning. Those are those are pine nuts. Pine nuts that I've toasted and be super careful when you're toasting those because they do brown very quickly. Yeah, you reach your point at which they go just a matter of three minutes. A lot of butter just so went in. So this is my crust. Which okay. This recipe is gluten free. Oh, okay. What kind of flour you got in there? And I have brown rice flour. Okay. I'm using okay. some of my favorite ingredients what? here today. And you know, a lot of folks have never used uh, other than uh, wheat flour. Rice flour makes a great crispy mm. crust. Yes, right? it does. Yeah. And you know, adding that lemon zest. Okay. So what happens is this gets spread out in here. And you want it a crumbly chunky because that yes. gives you little pockets in yes, there. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Smash that down. Y you end up pressing that in? Press it down okay. in there. And what I usually use is something with a flat bottom. Okay. Just go to town with it, put it in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Okay. And then over here, what we're doing today is I'm using two and a third cups of sugar. Okay. I'm also using... Oh, now this is interesting. You, this the, you, is the whole lemon. I wanted to use the whole lemon. Yeah, you called it that a pulverized, pulverized Meyer lemon, lemon bar. So these are you know, good sections, yeah. Oh. These lemons are just amazing. And they by the way, so for those who've never done the Meyer lemons, um, they grow beautifully in our area, and they're, it's a very smooth skin on the outside. They're not quite as tart as a they're standard lemon. They're not quite as tart. And, you know, that's why I wanted to incorporate the whole lemon in yeah, here. Yeah, great. And these are all from my tree. Okay. Yeah, in they, my backyard. They grow so well. So we're, we're going to pulverize it. I have, a neighbor I, like I have a neighbor I steal them from when I need to. So. But you know what? The next okay. thing, yeah. pasture-raised chicken eggs. Okay for that beautiful, golden, oh, sunny color. I've got to get a pasture, bars. I really do. Now to help thicken this up, okay. a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Xanthan gum? Yes. That's you your know, thickening agent? Yes, to make them gluten free. Mm, okay. You will add that Could for I a use cornstarch if I'm not too worried about that? Or, uh, yes. Because I don't have xanthan gum at home. I should get you don't. some. I'll get some. You should get some. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then after and this it, comes out of the oven, this, has been this baked goes first. onto the top. Okay. You turn the oven down to 325, and beans, I'm making that layer today a little extra okay. thick and All delicious. Right. It'll take 25 minutes at 325. As soon as it quits jiggling when you yep. shake the pan, take it out of the Ma oven. Make me wait. I want to see the finished product when we come back. Oh. There you go. I have linked Lori's website to ours. If you go to fox40.com and search either Lori or Lemon, you're going to find this and her wonderful website. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for making the drive from Thank Petaluma. And much. we'll uh, join you at the end of the show. Okay. Back to you, Bethany. Oh, I can't wait to sample those. Well, Justin Bieber is entering the world. Well, you picked a delicious time to tune in. This is Lori Fagoni, who is here. Uh, Lori, uh, Lori'sFood.com is already linked to Paul's Picks uh, at uh, fox40.com. And these are you just said it's the quintessence of Meyer lemon yes, contained in a bar. My pulverized Meyer <laughs> lemon bars. And I wanted to tell you a quick tip. Okay. Why I line the pan with foil is when they're all done, you chill them, you can easily just lift, lift this out. out of the pan and it is so easy to cut them into yes, serving You pieces. laid it on a cutting board and cut these beautiful yep. triangles for us and yes. then a little dusting of powdered sugar and on the top. And another good tip, by the way, is it's beautiful with that on top, but then after you put it on the plate over here, you dust it again and you get the little, oh, it's Wait, so pretty. After you put it on my plate, yeah. you dust it again. <laughs> oh, I want more dusting too. Yeah. We better get the taste <laughs> testing Actually, here. can you blizzard mine? Just bl I don't want dusting oh, you're blizzards. You're a sugar there we go. lover. Sabrina might want to. Now, the, these are completely gluten-free, correct? These are gluten-free. All right, we'll get an, and the thing that really, I, I've made a lot of lemon bars in my time. Um, oh, wow. You had the whole mm. lemon section in there. I used the whole there. lemon. Mm. 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 This is fabulous. Mm. Mm. That oh, is yeah. delicious. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You've made my day. Way I just need a cup go. of coffee now. Okay. <laughs> and what, oh, it's got a little boing to it. And, mm, and are we getting that because we have the whole section in there? Because ordinarily, yes. you don't get a lot of boing out of a Meyer yes. lemon. Yes, and by using that whole lemon, it yeah. just is like, oh, wow. Wow, good stuff. <laughs> okay, and by the way, again, I mentioned earlier, Meyer lemons grow fantastically uh, throughout our valley area. So if you want to plant something in the yard, you can use yes, there. And that's a serious crust on the bottom. Now, take a look at <laughs> this, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like, you make that gluten-free. Pine that is gluten free. Toasted pine. Yeah. There we go. All right, everybody have a great day. Uh, Wendy's up next, and we'll see you back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Thank you, Lori. Very nicely Thank done. Thank you for having me. We'll eat all of these. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs>